Hope you all are doing great and I'm back with another brand new tutorial. So if you dive deep into sports poster then you'll see a lot of doodle art. So it's very easy to create by your own but if you don't want to waste your time then I'm going to give away a doodle pack and hold on a bonus color that is also included so if you want to get everything please check on the description list below. And if you love designing and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet then please do subscribe and there are tons to cover so without any further ado let's dive into the video. So here we go, we are in Photoshop and very first thing let's create an artboard. So for that press Ctrl and N and I'm going for 4x5 and again same thing, resolution to 300, color mode to RGB, bitrate to 8 and let's keep everything as default and let's click and create. And then right after that let's drag and drop this player image right over here and like I said this tutorial is going to be very simple. I'm going to give away a doodle pack so if you want to get this doodle pack please check on the description list below. So press Ctrl and T let's make it a little bigger and let's keep it right over here. Uh, let's go over here let's create a solid and bottom and let's give it a kind of darker color. Uh, let's go. Let's go for kind of this darker color and let's click on OK. And then right after that let's drag and drop this texture on very top. Let's keep it on top, Control T, let's make it a little bigger, yep, maybe let's cover it, the whole section. And let's change the blending mode to screen, Control T, maybe let's make it a little bigger and let's keep it right over here. And let's drag and drop another texture and let's keep it right over here, press Control and T, let's make it a little bigger, maybe some more, yep just like so and let's change the blending mode to a uh, screen again and let's keep it under this one and let's keep it like that for now and then let's drag and drop uh, our main doodle pack so let's go right over here and then let's say let's just start with this one let's drag and drop this right over here press ctrl T let's rotate it and let's make it yep something like this size and maybe squeeze it a little bit maybe add a little rotation yep let's keep it like that and then let's keep it under this let's keep it all the way to the let's keep it right over here i guess and let's change the color overlay and let's give it a kind of uh, lighter color so i'll just go with kind of yellow something something like that and let's click on ok and let's click on ok uh, let's go. Let's go for another doodle. Let's drag and drop this doodle right over here. And let's see. Let's keep it under this layer. Let's go over here. Let's change the color overlay. And let's keep it a kind of darker. Let's give it a kind of this color. Press Ctrl and T. Let's squeeze it a little bit. And let's add a little rotation. Maybe squeeze and let's keep it just like so and then let's go for another let's go for this one let's drag and drop right over here control T and maybe yep let's let's keep it maybe right around here and let's change the color overlay and let's give it a kind of brighter color I'll just go with kind of white yep let's keep it like that and let's click on ok and let's add some text so let's go over here yep let's change the name control T let's add a little rotation here we go and let's change the font color let's give it a kind of brighter yellow yep let's give it kind of this color 
and let's make a one more copy control J and let's change the color let's go yeah let's keep the same color maybe let's change the font to I'll just go with this one and control T let's bring it down a little bit maybe some more and then maybe let's change the color like I'll say let's go for yep a little brighter color just like so here we go and let's see and let's go for yep let's go with the number let's drag and drop this uh text right over here and let's go let's drag and drop this number seven right over here control t and here we go and maybe let's keep both of them horizontal number Uh, let's keep this both number inside a group so select both control G and let's add a color overlay and then yep let's go with kind of uh, brighter kind of yellow color and let's make it smaller control T and maybe let's add a little rotation yep just like so and you know what let's keep it just above this one here we go and let's add some more text so let's uh let's add a rectangle right and then uh let's move this point a little yep let's click on yes and let's move it like that and then let's change the color to let's see let's go for kind of darker color and let's add a text let's change the font to let's go for this font let's keep it right around here control t here we go maybe squeeze a little bit here we go and let's keep everything inside a group control g and let's make a copy control J control T let's add a little rotation let's move it on this side and let's change the font let's write it TR and let's make a copy control J and let's move this and write over here and maybe move it down a little bit and maybe let's add a little rotation to it yep, just like so and let's keep it under this one and let's make a one more copy control J control T and control T let's make it a little smaller here we go and well, let's move it right around here let's keep it under this and then let's make a one more copy control J and let's move it right around here let's make the one more copy and let's change this text as s so let's move it control t here we go and let's keep it under this one Okay. Here we go, and let's
Let's select these all text group, make a group, control G and let's rename it as a title. And let's bring it in the center, maybe somewhere around here. And let's make, uh, let's change this uh, rectangle color. So select this one, double click, let's go for it. Yep, let's make it a kind of uh, red color, yep, something like that. And maybe for this one. Uh, let's go for kind of this color, maybe more a little darker, yep, just like so. And for this one, uh, let's go for or maybe something like that. There we go. And for this one, let's go for for yep, let's go for this color, maybe more on darker side, yep, just like so. And for maybe for this one. Let's go for, here we go. And then let's bring this title all the way to the bottom under this one. And press Ctrl T. Let's keep it right around here. All right. And let's go for another doodle pack. So let's go right over here and let's see what we can do. Yep, let's drag and drop uh, this right around here. Control T. And let's see, let's keep it under this title. Control T, let's add a little rotation here. Here we go. And let's go for another doodle. So let's see, let's drag and Let's drag and drop this one right over here. Control T. Let's add a little rotation. And maybe yep, somewhere around here. Control T, let's add a rotation, here we go. And let's make a one more copy, Control J, Control T, let's keep it right around here. And let's add a one more text on bottom. Let's move it a little up somewhere around here and then then let's drag and drop uh, this doodle right over here control T let's move it right around here let's add a color overlay and let's give it a kind of brighter color Something like that. Make, let's make it a little smaller. Yep, somewhere around here. And let's make a copy. Control J, Control T. And then let's make a one more copy, Control J, Control T. Yeah, let's move it right around here. Here we go. Go to filter, let's go to camera raw filter. And let's go over here. Let's go on light. And let's drop down the highlights. Let's increase the shadows. And let's go to Effect tab and let's increase the clarity. Let's increase the texture a little bit. And let's uh, go to Color Mixture. And from here, let's increase the saturation for red. And let's drop down a little bit for orange. And let's do the same thing for yellow. 
a little bit and then let's go to luminance tab and let's go to luminance tab and let's drop down the luminance for red a little bit yep maybe something like that and let's go on hue let's change the hue yep maybe somewhere more red and let's uh go more toward blue and let's increase kind of pack one this side and then magenta yep something like that and purple let's go something over here and let's go on detailing tab and let's increase the noise reduction and let's increase the color noise reduction too and then let's add some sharpening just like so and let's click on ok now uh, let's go over here add a color lookup and from here click on load and i'm going to use windy pun slot so select this one and click on load and if you want to get this lot file please check on the description list below go over here add a curve and from here let's in increase the exposure a little bit yep something like that maybe let's add a new layer again go to brush and let's add a kind of uh, highlights on the fit let's click on overlay and let's drop down the opacity a little bit yep let's keep it somewhere around here here we go and maybe let's increase the opacity some more yep something like that so that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and I'll see you on next video. Till then you guys take care, be safe and be creative. Bye bye.